Well, usually we don't have any problems with feeling music, but the obstacles we have are on the way to convey our ideas through playing. We might feel much, but would be trapped inside because we couldn't express freely ourselves. So, if we're able to freely express our feelings, that tremendously helps to release unhealthy tension in mind and body while playing and convey and express our ideas so clearly that even a listener could feel all the emotionals, all the feelings uh, as much as we can feel ourselves. When students playing cannot really express clearly emotional image of music, teachers would start impose their own feelings and ideas on students playing, assuming that students cannot really feel music properly. They would say something like, be more passionate, play brighter, freely, don't be afraid. <laughs> Uh, imagine this, imagine that. They would even start um, educate students about composers' life to bring more meaning to their playing. Well, the last thing teachers know is that students don't have lack of feeling music, but they have lack of knowledge how to convey their feelings through playing. The secret bridge that connects our intentions and performance is usually our singing, how to internally sing and intonate, watching this video. So now, now why we would consider that if something changes our singing that would also affect our playing is because uh, this energy of singing between notes directly affects energy of our muscles. So we uh, sing differently, we breathe differently, we feel differently, we touch differently and we sound differently. So, while going through this interval, for example, uh, in this energy of joy, this, this kind of vibrations affect directly the muscles in my finger. So this is how I would control my touch. So, before even playing, I already know how I'm going to touch, the way it would express my singing, my intentions. So. Now sorrow. So with joy, I would feel uh, more active energy within my palm, and with sorrow, um, I would feel more gentle energy, and the touch would be different. So if I sing internally, joy and sorrow. Like I said before, it, you, you don't have any unhealthy tension, you don't feel like you're trapped, you cannot express yourself. You, it feels so nice because you freely express yourself, there is no obstacles between you and the piano. And second of all, it sounds nice. <laughs> so this is how you express through touching, through the sound. Uh, through internal singing, all your intentions about your feelings, about the emotional image of the piece. I think that's really interesting because I think that the imagination and singing part uh, will make the whole difference in the teaching approach, in the practicing approach, and it's very uh, efficient when you use it. So. Uh, Everyone in the future will teach this way. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching and have a great week. Bye-bye.